This is Dr. Marshall Zablin giving you a presentation of the positive drug findings in drug tested taxi drivers and limo drivers in the state and the general public in the state of California and the nation. Norton has extensive experience in drug testing. We have done police stations and prisons, correctional institutes, city bus lines in Texas. We do drug testing for the state of New Mexico, and we do municipal taxi cabs in the city and county of Los Angeles, Orange County regulated by OCTAP, Orange County Transit Administration, and in Marin County in Northern California, and in the extreme south of California in Riverside County since 2001. Our experience is that we, in taxi drivers in 2015, is that we did 8,380 drug tests on employed taxi drivers. There were 13 positive tests. The rate of positivity is 0 0.0015 in these working drivers. That means one in every 644 taxi drivers were positive for illicit drugs. These 13 drivers that were positive were taken off the pool. Pre-employment tests numbered 308. There were six positives. These positives did not work. Our limo experience in California in 2015 is that 1,000 random tests were performed on limousine drivers. There were five positive drivers. That positivity rate was 0.0051 in 200 limousine drivers tested positive for illicit drugs. They had 488 pre-employment tests. Three drivers were positive and did not work. So what's the rate of people who do rideshare? The general population. Well, the National Institute of Drug Abuse did a survey of people in the year 2013 and 12 to see what the rate of drug use was. Let's look a little deeper. And we can see from this graph that people 21 to 25 had about a 21% incidence of admitting drug use last month. As people age, the rate of drug use decreases to 15 to 16 percent, to 13 percent, to 10 percent when the people have reached 40 years of age. The National Drug Institute of Drug Abuse also noticed in the survey that 6 percent of college age adults, not college students, use marijuana every single day and that Four and a half percent of these people used alcohol every day. The analysis of data shows that anywhere from one in five to one in ten drivers can have a positive drug test. This means the estimated rate of drug abuse in TNC drivers can be as high as one in five to one in ten rideshare drivers having a positive drug test. This compares to 1 in 640 taxi drivers or 1 in 200 limo drivers. These numbers are realistic because in the motor carrier industry, they had a rate when the drug testing was started of 18%, which was a little bit lower than it is today for the general public. And since that time, the rate of positivities in the trucking population has decreased and the rate of fatalities for every million miles they drive has fallen 80 percent. Now if we look at which drugs are abused, marijuana is number one and number two is psychotherapeutics. This is the oxycontent and the hydrocodone and narco and the opiate prescription drugs which are fueling an epidemic of 
opiate addiction and secondary heroin addiction. These two drugs are high and above cocaine inhalants. Heroin has doubled in the last year. In 1995, California Law 53075 required people who carry passengers for hire to have drug and alcohol testing similar to the U.S. DOT model. In 1995, there were shuttles and limousines, and these were to be regulated by the California Public Utility Commission and the taxis by the cities in which they operate. In 1995, there were no rideshare drivers driving for hire. But also in 1995, they had floppy drives and they had CDs, but they didn't have any memory sticks. Now the five drugs that taxi and the limousine and the trucking industry are tested for are cocaine, marijuana, amphetamine, methamphetamine, ecstasy, opiates, heroin, codeine, and morphine, and PCP. Rideshare drivers are all over the United States and they are in New York City. In New York City, they have 15,000 taxis and they have 15,000 rideshare drivers. In New York City, rideshare drivers follow New York City Taxi Commission rules. Rideshare drivers do do drug testing as required by the City of New York Taxi Commission. Rideshare drivers have commercial plates. Rideshare drivers in New York City have commercial insurance. Why? If rideshare drivers do not follow New York City Commission rules, their cars are impounded. Safety is what elected officials and state and city agencies are created and, and that's their purpose, to, to provide for the common good. Compliance with safety regulations depends on the will and determination of elected officials as well as the agencies. Now, why should a tourist fly from New York City and arrive at LAX or Palm Springs Airport or San Francisco International Airport and not have a drug-tested driver with commercial insurance? Would you like to pay for a ride with a driver without commercial insurance who is not drug-tested? Now, Dr. Zabel and Norton were endorsed by the Greater California Livery Association to bring these facts to members of the California State Assembly and Senate. And we've been there a few times to meet the representatives and lawmakers. Now, how can you test all these people? Well, you could do it with an app. The IDC, Independent Driver Consortium, which can provide drug testing for all these people via an app. They can comply with the same regulations as taxis and limousine drivers. And what do they get with this app? They get for $99 a pre-employment drug test so that if they're positive, they don't enter the pool. Random drug testing, so they are discouraged from using drugs, and if positive, are eliminated from the pool. Random alcohol testing, no drinking four hours bottled to throttle before coming to work or during work. Post-accident drug and alcohol testing. Drug alcohol education videos, so they know what they're getting into and reporting to third parties. In other words, with the permission of the independent contractor, we could report his drug tests to his contracting company so they could turn off his app or to the city in which he regulates or to the PUC. The drivers release the contractee to see their test results as well as the taxi commission.